what is up YouTube XCX Solutions here and today I am bringing you another video and this is on how to install CC Cleaner Professional for free and basically an overview of how it all works and what it does. So CC Cleaner or C Cleaner um, is basically a really really smart cleaning tool that allows you to uh, protect your computer from privacy and makes your computer a lot lot faster. Um, I've been using this for years and when I say years I literally mean it, I mean years. Um, ever since you know when I first built my first PC um, it comes in handy it cleans your registry it cleans history it cleans basically whatever you want it to clean so this is their official website um, it's by Piriform I think is how you pronounce it um, I've been using the free version for a while but uh, I got my hands on the professional version um, with a simple key code that you can all use um, and there's a bypass on how to basically activate it because if you activate it now um, while well, you know connected to the internet it's not going to work so I'll show you how to do that in just a second so as you can see here you can obviously download it for free if you want to but obviously it doesn't come with you know the uh, real-time monitoring protection automatic updates premium support um, I'm actually going to be downloading the professional plus which is $40 and yeah you can go ahead and download it for free um, by using the key code in the description below and uh, yeah follow the steps on how to do so so the first thing you're going to want to do is obviously download the free trial because we're not going to be paying for this so click on free trial again the link is in the description below if you want to download it CC setup 502 pro now this could change in the future um, this does work for all the different versions including future versions as I've upgraded and it works completely fine um, you just have to do the same process um, again when you need to update it so you'll be prompted with an installation wizard just double click on it and open it choose your language I'm going to choose English hit next now for these options here this is obviously self-explanatory and personal preference I like to keep them all checked and if you go to advanced, you can choose install just for me or anyone using this computer. So if you have multiple users on your PC, then obviously you can do that if you wish to. So next, the directory, I'm going to leave it as default, which is in program files. C cleaner, hit next. Again, this is personal preference. Um, I think this is the same thing actually. So I'm gonna hit install and it will literally take two seconds to install. Okay guys, so as you can see, it's finished installing. You can view the release notes if you wish to, basically to say what it includes and the update uh, features and stuff like that, but I'm not going to do that. So I'm gonna hit untick and finish and you'll be prompted with a box and a desktop shortcut so this is where you are going to need to do a few things basically disconnect from your internet I'm on Windows 8.1 um, or you can you know if you're wired just unplug your Ethernet if you're wireless and you're using a Wi-Fi dongle like I am you can unplug the dongle or if you're just wireless on a laptop or whatever you can just go to your uh, network and literally just disconnect from your internet so it's shown like so once done that go ahead and click already registered activate now choose the name of your choice and for the license key just paste the key in this key will be exactly the same for you and this should work I've tested this on two other computers and it works completely fine click register and there you have it this is CC cleaner professional edition as you can see at the top and if we go to options and the about tab as you can see it says registered to Jack Eden which is my name C Cleaner Professional Edition. Uh, this is the latest version in this point of time. Again, if there's a future version, you can just click here. Obviously, I'm not connected to the internet, but once you've done that, you can connect back to your internet. Go ahead and check for updates again. And as you can see, you're using the latest version. And if there is an update, it will prompt you to download it. So just gonna go over a few things here. So the basic uh, things is Windows and applications. So again, you can untick these if you do not want to, maybe you don't wanna you know, remove the cookies or history for Internet Explorer. Uh, Windows Explorer for Windows, you know, system stuff like empty the recycle bin, which is really handy so you don't have to keep emptying it. Uh, we've got memory dumps, clipboard, literally everything you can think of down here we've got the advanced tab which I don't recommend ticking if you don't know what it is so again you can just tick whatever you need to and it gives you a warning just to say that this will clear you know whatever it clears so once you're happy with all the settings same for applications you've got you know Firefox Google Chrome you have got the Windows Store applications just you know everything in here the general stuff just click analyze it shouldn't take too long depending on how you know how much stuff it has to actually process and go through um, as you can see it's going through Google Chrome stuff and you know my program data and it actually has analyzed 307 megabytes and wants to remove that 
It took approximately 9.2 seconds and tells you all the things that it has deleted. Go ahead and run the cleaner and it will say the process will permanently delete files from your system. I'm going to not show this and hit OK. There's a nice progress bar up here, as you can see, 100% completed and it has removed that 307 megabytes. Again, this may be different for you because you've never done this before, but I do this daily and I recommend doing it daily because it's just it just fastens up your computer and it makes it very fast, very quick, and uh, yeah, it's very, very handy. So that's the cleaner tab. Um, note up here, it tells you your operating system and your specs of your PC. We go into registry. This is the very, very handy tool here so we have basically the registry in your computer if you click scan for issues it will scan for the problems and different you know registry keys that shouldn't be there or maybe just junk files that shouldn't be there that are in your registry and as you can see it's just found something here this was from my recording program that I've deleted but it's still um, in a you know in my registry as a key so this will go and scan. You may have lots here. This is completely normal and it's good if you have lots because if you click fix, click no and click fix, um, that will completely remove that. If we go ahead and scan again, just to make sure. And as you can see, no issues were found. So that's what you want to keep it at. You basically want to just clean it up so it says no issues were found. Um, we can go to tools, which is next. You've got the uninstall program list. So it's basically like the Windows one. But with this, I'm pretty sure you can uninstall multiple things at once. Unlike the Windows one where you can only uninstall one thing at a time and if you try and uninstall another thing it will basically tell you you can't do that so with CC cleaners one you can basically do that and you know it's easy to access just by going in C cleaner and going here and it's very easy to manage so it's very very cool it's very handy um, go ahead to go to startup tab as you can see these are things that are starting up on your computer so when your computer loads and boots you can basically disable things that you don't want to start up you can do this from Windows but if you don't want to you know for example we've got my H HD audio deck uh, I think it's like a driver or, or an audio adapter thing I don't want that so I'll just click on it and click disable or obviously if you want to enable say Spotify I have disabled you can go ahead and click on it click enable and that will enable it so it will start up on your boot up you can also do the same for Internet Explorer you know Google Chrome so all like the plugins and add-ons that you're using you can disable them through here you can also delete them through here the next tab is disk analyzer so this will scan your whole computer for files that using disk space that doesn't actually need to be there or, or it just tells you, you know what's taking up room and stuff so that's really cool you can analyze that um, depending on how many drives you have that will be you know in this little box here so you can select maybe video documents music pictures or everything you can do that and hit analyze so that's very very handy too. duplicate finder this basically finds files that are the same thing and don't need to be there so if I've got a picture and I have two of them that are exactly the same the same file name the same file size everything it will find that and will basically remove that so you don't need you know a duplicate of maybe a text document unless you've done it on purpose then obviously you will um, but it'll find them just to let you know that there's duplicates of them that's that's very cool in my opinion system restore this will just basically analyze the system restore points as you can see I have three of them um, on your computer so this basically helps you uh, revert back to that point in time and will basically lose all the data from now um, until that point of time so if you don't know what that is just google it it's pretty handy you can go ahead and remove Remove them from here so not re revert back to them but remove them if you don't want them to be on your computer and last but not least we have drive wiper so this basically erases the contents of free space on your drive as you can see up here um, so yeah just freeze your space from your hard drive or a particular drive that you don't need space on and uh, yeah you've got like advanced overwrites very complex overwrites I haven't really used this so I can't really judge on it but again it's there for your needs last but not least we have uh, the options tab which is just basically you know self-explanatory um, run CC cleaner when the computer starts that's always nice to do if you forget you can have it on a schedule you can have it so that it basically monitors your computer so when you go over a certain amount of you know junk or whatever it will basically clean it for you automatically and this is just self-explanatory you can just go ahead and go through these I'm not going to go through these because they're self-explanatory but it's very very nice to have and this has been CC cleaner professional guys so I hope 
you've learned something today i hope you go ahead and download it if you don't already have it because i've been using this for years and it's very very promising it helps speed up your computer i use this on all my computers including my laptop and you know different things like that i think they have an android application now which is free i believe which you can also download if you have an android phone from the play store go ahead and download that and it will basically do the same thing on your device it will clean up your device for junk files and stuff like that so comment rate subscribe and all the good stuff and i'll see you guys in the next one peace